Hi, and welcome to Unity Reflect, how to export from Navisworks to Reflect. We covered how to use the Unity Reflect plugin, but now let's see what this looks like inside of Navisworks. So I've loaded up a pretty large scene inside of Navisworks, and now I want to work on just a few components, and we have that option inside of Navisworks with the Unity Reflect plugin. So the first thing you'll notice is my user interface now has a new menu item at the top menu bar that says Unity Reflect. So I can open up my dashboard and I can also export. And let's look at what the export can do. I can do the whole document and it might be a quite large file and take quite a lot of time. Or I could go ahead and export a selection. So I'm going to go into my selection tree and I'm going to pick a certain part or a certain area of focus. Let's say I want to have this, this building and these parts. I could even go and select just the electrical, uh, some of the equipment, um, and so forth. So let's pick the steel that I have here. And be aware that it will position this uh, based on the space in which it is in. So it might be to the left or to the right of us when we do this export. So now that I've selected my steel, um, construction parts of this building, I can come up here, export document, and export selection. It's going to initiate the Unity Reflect plugin. So this user interface will need you to be logged in. So if you're not logged in, please log in. Make sure you select the correct organization that you're working with, and also make sure what space you're working in. Is it local, network, or cloud? Then we can go ahead and create our project. In this, uh, I'm just going to say uh, power plant or the such. I think that's what this is. And I selected my correct organization and I will say create. So here we go. You noticed I had one earlier, but I decided to make a new one. But these two do not have a green check like these other projects do. That means there is no local published history. Uh, or of anything. If we were on network, it would say the same thing, that we didn't have anything to the network or we didn't have anything published on the cloud. So I'm going to click on this uh, project and then create that export data and click export. Depending on the file size that you have, it may take more or less time. I'm going to pause to go through this. Uh, that was actually quite quick. And to illustrate what we've done, I'm going to close down our Navisworks or minimize it. Get to my desktop and initiate our Unity Reflect viewer. Just make sure you have logged in. If not, uh, you will have to log in using a web token. So make sure your pop-up blockers aren't blocking you from your login. Once you've logged in, your project should be here. You can click right on them and initiate those. And they will be opening up and loading as quickly as possible. And there you have my Navis work scene inside of Unity Reflect. I can start doing my design review. And the cool thing is I can add to this. I can say, hey, I want to bring in another part, maybe the electrical, maybe the piping, and so forth, and add those all in unison. And I can also sync these to the application. Again, that was a quick look at how to very quickly get to the menu item and export in Navisworks to Unity Reflect. If you need any more assistance, you can reach us in our forums and you can also check out our documentation. Wishing you all the very best of luck. Thank you.